This is my 35 gallon reef aquarium. And I'm just gonna do a video about this do-it-yourself uh, homemade protein skimmer. Before I show you how to make it, I'm gonna do what none of the other videos that I've seen about homemade protein skimmers do, and that is show you that it actually works. This is the collection cup there, and that's all the gunk that it's collected. You can see there, it's a pretty significant amount. Uh, that's in about four days worth of running, and uh, it's pretty consistent. It collects about that much every four days or so, which should get a consistent uh, skin mate because I feed my fish pretty much the same every day and the bio load doesn't change so that to me says that it's working pretty good also uh, what's noteworthy there is the size of the waste particles in the skin mate are fairly decent and that is a function of how long the uh, water is exposed to the air in the chamber so I'm pretty pleased about how it's working it took me a, a couple of different designs to finally get one that, that uh, performs this well. So now you know that it works, I'm going to show you how to build one. Okay, here is a little better light. You can see four days worth of skin mate. Uh, I'm really quite impressed the way this homemade filter has performed, uh, homemade uh, protein skimmer. It's actually done better than some of the more expensive ones that I've gotten for a 35 gallon reef tank. Uh, so just wanted to show you quick again that it does actually work well. Okay, I pulled the protein skimmer out of the refugium and I'm going to just kind of dissect it and talk about how it works. I actually got some uh, little more expensive, uh, better quality materials, so I'm going to build another one. Before I do that, I just want to show you this uh, cheaper version. This is a one quart mixing cup plastic. Uh, you can buy it at any hardware store uh, cut a hole with a hole saw through the middle two inches and then uh, I actually um, siliconed a PVC coupler uh, to to form the collection cup and one of the great things about this skimmer something that makes it so effective is the it's adjustable in several different ways you can adjust the height of the cup you can put a rubber band on the bottom of that so it doesn't slide down and then actually you can uh, adjust these rings um, up and down so you can determine how far high or low uh, the skimmer chamber sits in the um, in the refugium. Uh, this down here is um, the air stones and I just have uh, two air stones connected to this double outlet air pump. It's a top fin air pump and for this uh, you can use any air pump as long as it has uh, two outlets or if you use two air pumps because it has two stones and that seems to be key to the design as well. You take these out. Um, if I pop out one of these air stones, you can see it's a, I believe these are top fin also. I'm going to get some more for the next project that I do, I can tell you for sure. Uh, they're about three fifty a piece, two inch. Um, these are the extra fine bubble air stones, and I uh, took a hole saw and drilled one, two holes for the air stones, and then through the center there, drilled a hole for the uh, for the little nipple for the for the uh, air hose to stick onto. So that is it. This uh, is a two inch PVC pipe. And these are um, two inch PVC pipe couplings. Uh, this one I actually cut in half and sanded out the center of it so that they would slide. And then uh, for the uh, suction cups, I drilled these holes. And the suction cups then just fit right in here and you can uh, epoxy them there. Or I used um, uh, silicone, uh, aquarium grade silicone, that works too. So that's how the skimmer works. Once again, I think one, what's key to its effectiveness is just being able to dial it in uh, with an adjustable uh, collection cup and also adjustable um, suction cup rings. And so I am going to then uh, build another one and show you how to